Rachel is ready to go. I'm not. Rachel's ready to rock. Turmoil. <sighs> hey, everybody! Welcome back to GDPG. Woo! Back with more turmoil. Yes. Howdy, my name's Fred Metal. Are you looking to make your oil mining operation more efficient? Come by my factory to upgrade your gear. Cool, thanks, Fred. All right, now I'm gonna come in here. So, this is where um, you can upgrade your different um, things that have to do with your rigs and things that have to do with your silos. So these your pipes. are okay. So these are all things that affect your um, expedition itself. Not everything in the expedition. This is everything that affects metal in your expedition. That like requires like actual material. What's the timer do? Timer is um. Rigs are allowed to. Are no. better resistance against high pressure, so they are less likely to spill. That wasn't an issue in the last game. It definitely becomes an issue. I don't, I don't understand how a timer fixes that though. Because it it um it lengthens the amount of time you have before it's going to start spilling. Over. Oh, this so, is weird. Right now it's not an issue. Um, it starts becoming an issue with like this one, which is my personal favorite. Um, you widen the pipes. So oh, so pull. you can pull more faster. Exactly. That's awesome. We um, should get that. Yeah. Uh, how much do I have right now? How much do you need for an expedition? Two thousand. I need two thousand. I have plenty. Yeah, um, I don't really stuff. care about doing the silo right now. Um, links. I don't need to worry about that right now. Number one. Number two. I don't have enough, and it's not worth it for me to go to the bank to get a loan. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go with the wider pipes. Yeah, and that way we have ten thousand to spend during the expedition. Uh, well, we won't have that much to spend during the expedition. We can only ever spend two grand on our expedition. Oh, really? Yes. Why? Oh, that's because that's why it takes two thousand to go out on the expedition. Exactly, because that's how much money you're given to start every expedition. So you can't just because I feel that's your budget. I'm really happy that the game developers did that because if you just had this giant pool to pull from, then what's the point of doing anything? Yeah. Because then yeah, there's you no, would, you there's would never no need challenge. To, you'd never t need to take a loan. Yeah. You, the challenge would basically be at that point how to not waste money. Yeah. Um, and that's less interesting. And even from a business perspective, it makes sense to only have that 2000 as like the budget. Yeah. And then um, if you need to borrow more money, you can just go to the bank. Yeah, so in an economy game, that actually makes a lot of which sense. Which is another Good reason. You. Which is another reason why I think that they lowered the interest rate when you're actually in the. In the expedition. Yeah, when you're on the plot. Of yeah, land. because you're only going to ever lose that much. Exactly. So yeah. let's go to the bank, see what lo. Oh yeah, and I can see my report. Oh, it's from like the previous expeditions. Yeah. That's kind of cool. So if I ever felt like it, cool. Um, but I actually wanted to see... No, it's still 20%. Okay, sometimes it'll change. Oh, really? Yes. Hmm. Um, I have a theory. I have a working theory. I'm not sure if it's actually accurate or not yet, but we'll get there. An auction? This is not... Yes, this is where you go and you... That's what they call when you, like, go get to go and pick your land. So the first time oh, we okay. did this, they just gave you a plot of land. Now... Now you actually have to buy it. Now you get to choose. So, of course, the one that we were given was the one that had the most money. That makes um, sense. Or has the most opportunity. I'm not sure exactly what the number means. I'm not sure if that's like tens of thousands of gallons or something. I haven't figured it out yet. Maybe could, somebody can give me... I mean, it could be an arbitrary like, per, or maybe not arbitrary, but it could be like a percentage compared to what the maximum is. Maybe like 41% of the land was covered with oil. Like, yeah, had maybe. oil? Have you ever seen more than 100%? Or 100... On, on... I've never seen more than... 55, I So maybe think. that is, like, percentage of land that has maybe. oil. That's the only thing I could think of. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Okay. So, and then this is where you can have, like, kind of like a... Um, this is where it helps you figure out where you're going to have more oil. So clearly this one was the most, but there's no other land next to it. Same with this one. This is probably going to be my best bet, because this one had 37, so this one's probably going to have... It's probably going to have a little bit less, though. It looks like it's declining. It At is least declining, but it's going to have... three. And then, so this area... Yeah, that area here. looks less promising. This is going to be a lot less promising. So I'm actually going to make... So it, do you basically have to judge it based on adjacent mm -hmm. spots? Okay, it's a good way to so do otherwise it. it's kind of a shot in the dark. Exactly. It's very minesweeper. Yes. Um, there are some uh, things that will help with this later on, but those will pop up and we'll talk about it. Hmm. All right, ready to start the bidding. Yes, we are. I'm going to choose... What do you think? I mean, we could go for the one that's above the 37. It's certainly... Uh, we're going to get, get out of it. What's the... So well, here, let me show you. Okay, so I put $1,000 on that piece of land, 1000 but she wanted that mm -hmm. piece of land, so then she has to double it. 
So now if I wanted to go for this piece of land again, I'd have to pay 2000 and I don't really feel like doing that. I mean, you could just drain their money if you think they're going to keep bidding on it. Yeah, that's a good way to look at it. Alternatively, you could go, well, can you only bid on land in this region? Yes. These are all oh. the next regions that are opening up. Oh, okay. All right, I'm going to try to get cool. that one, so I'm going to spend 2000 Yep, all right, so I just spend two grand. That's dumb. That's okay. Not dumb. Well, cool. so I think then, you might you might actually be better off with that spot than what the other guy just probably. got. Probably. Um, so now, so that's this is another thing I really like is it gives you the opportunity to go and buy stuff before you get in there. You go and do the auction, and then you still have the opportunity to go and buy more stuff. So well, yeah, I ended because up, now now you have a better sense of what your current money pool is. Exactly. So like, let's say that I really wanted that piece of land, and I just kept getting outbid. Now I have the opportunity to go to the bank and get more money. Right. Um. That's kind of clever. Exactly. What's what's the lowest oil percentage you've seen in, in that bidding? Menu? I don't think I've ever seen less than thirty. That's probably good. I, I'd say maybe the lowest they should ever go is twenty-five, because otherwise you kind of get straight up mm-hmm. fucked. You just get <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, da, 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 da. Ready to go. Ready to go. Have you ever drained a region totally of oil? All the time, and it's super satisfying. Does it? Does the game tell you when you do that? No, you oh, have to really? try and figure it out. So you could end up wasting more money. <laughs> Sometimes it's um, the dowser. By no means is the only way to find oil. It's actually oh, okay. my. It's my. Do you unlock more later on? Yes. Oh, okay. And I will That's show you my cool. favorite. And there's a reason why it's my favorite. And it's just so much more. It's just perfect. Nice. I love you, game developers. January to June. So we've got what six months. So now I've doubled my time, and I also have Right Ink. Now I have two competing oil companies oh, to nice. sell to. I was so yes. excited when this happened. I was just like, competition! Yes! I love how Capitalism! I assume there's never more than two, right? No, it's only two. I'd love it if there was like a middle ink. That'd it would be it, a pain in the it, ass. It'd be awful because it would take up game game space. Well, but... it'd be... <laughs> well, here's where this is really interesting. Now that you have two of them, you have to... It depends, like, wherever your rigs are, that can really screw you. And then you can have issues mm. with spillage because they the horses have to travel a lot further. Well, we should start this. Yes, okay, I'm sorry. I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm really excited that I finally get to play this game. All right, so I still have to go with Dowsers. Da-da-da-da. Yes, yes, yes. It's not <laughs> always right. Give me your oil. I'll give you more money. So I'm actually going to drop three. I'm really hoping I can find a rig in the middle so it won't really affect me too much. Um, and last time, my Dowsers took way too long to find oil. Thankfully, I yeah. have twice as much time. Now, do they ever double up on a, a single spot? Sometimes. Okay, that kind of sucks. I was going to say, I feel like optimal strategy would be to just, like, or, drop a bunch right no. away. Actually, I don't think they do, but they can double up with some of the other oil fighting stuff. I think you got stuff. one. No, I didn't. What's the guy on the left? Or are they They're just... looking. Oh. Uh... You'll know, because they won't be sending out the stuff. They'll just be like... I thought yep, he was waving. The oh, yeah, and he's got the little hat. He's so cute. They are pretty adorable. I will give you that. Oh, it gets cuter. What do you think of the art? I think it's very effective. You know, we I didn't talk too much about it in the last episode, but I think the art is actually really, really w- well styled. Yep, so to upgrade a pipe's capacity, you just click on it. So, because I got that Oh, super so the upgrades sp- don't just automatically come with it. You have no. to... Oh. Cool. I, I think that's rig. smart, because that, that increases sort of the... Uh, Jesus, come on. The complication with it. Really down. Oh, okay, so you can keep drilling deeper. No, you know what? I don't want to get a rig yet, because I need to buy ponies. Ponies? They're, oh my god, it's giant! It's awesome. Wow. It's huge. So I'm going to really, really, really enjoy uh, once I get a little bit more. Nope, I want to sell here. Because you can see that's a 59 cents. 68. I'm going to get more ponies. So how do the numbers work with with the uh, where you're selling them like what, what does that number represent on on like that's how many horses are going to it oh. so i can do this and then he won't go anywhere he'll just sit with his oil so you can't go higher than three because you only have i three. only have three ponies oh uh, okay so then maybe so one of the yeah uh one of the reasons why i dislike the dowsers is because it doesn't give me any idea of where they actually that's Awesome. All right. I need to buy another pony. That makes me wonder, too. Maybe that, that value that we saw in the auction for the, the land, maybe mm-hmm. it's number of shipments of oil. Or can you increase capacity of... It's not shipments of oil, I promise. Okay. 
Um, all right, these that would are be all nice for... really big, and I want to make a shit ton of money, so I. Hell yeah! Upgrade this shit. I know, but I gotta. I need more money to upgrade, and I need more money for ponies. I think. The... So you can see that because these are small, it's not pulling as effect efficiently. Oh, you wow! You have to upgrade, so you have to upgrade every upgrade single every single part of it. That's why Ooh. I don't like the dowser because it has you don't have any idea of how far down you're actually going. Yeah, and I gotta that keep. Makes so sense. now I gotta keep my. Now I'm gonna switch all over because now it's at 99. It surpassed it. <laughs> so there are just so many things that you have to manage. You have to look and see. And then my third dowser just left because he didn't find any oil. That's the other oh. thing that really frustrates me is if they don't like there could still be oil on the map and they'll leave because they're like they're, well, they're like can't find any can't carry. find any like fuck I, you, you paid me for my month so uh, I'm out yeah pretty much it's really really obnoxious huh. so you can see how the oil in the middle is going up and it got way too high so then I had to get a horse down otherwise it would have spilled uh, um, yeah. also if you'll notice the wagons are different color coded they're all red. And if I do this, uh, one of them will turn blue, and then it'll go there, but I don't want that to happen. I want it to be here. So do you... Okay. So you can just have some horses idle? You can't. Or you can have them... Um, so, for example, if you still want to have a revenue stream, let's say that this was not over a dollar. Oh, right. We did kind of talk about yeah, that. Yeah, then I could have them not idle, but they would um, they would put oil in the silo, in the silo. instead. Now, if you don't have a silo and then say they that just, does, they just sit there. They just sit there. <laughs> All right, so I'm running out here. I'm going to be running out here soon. I'm going to get another dowser down in hopes that I can find something in the next two months. I mean, dowsers are cheap. They're cheap, think? but they're really ineffective, and sometimes they're not really worth it. Well, that's why I would say it might be better to drop, like, two down, because it's it's that's cheap. True. And since they might not find anything, no, it's probably right. good to have that fail safe. I'm going to build a silo, because I don't want to sell anymore. We have. A little bit. We're getting close to the what two month or two months left, I think. We've got uh yeah, we've got May and June left. So I come think on, Dowsers, do what you got. Going, going right. back to the I art. I gotta go to the I gotta go to the left now because that's below sixty cents. Oh yeah. Going back to the that's art, I think one thing I really like is that there are actually no hard lines. Um, mm -hmm. like there's no outlines. Um, hard lines was the wrong term. otherwise mm -hmm. I'll spill because the horses are just like my tank is full guys I can't do anything yep. pretty much the pathing on these things is terrible and you'll see it'll just infuriate you oh it'll, it's bad it's really bad like, please fix the pathing well like how so what's what's they'll just so okay so I'm gonna have a fine now um because there are times where You'll have four horses sitting here, and there's just like two horses doing the work. Even though I have all of them setting set to do something, they'll just be like, "What's up, ponies?" and they won't move, or they'll, huh? Or they'll just go somewhere really dumb. Um, they'll pass like they'll walk past the oil rig that's overfilling to empty out the silo. Yeah, I, I could see how that would get frustrating. It's Incredibly. good that they don't give player control yeah. of, of them, because that would be way too much to manage. It's too much to manage. Um, and I, normally I would try and get something over there, but he's there. Ponies are there. Stop it. Man, spillage happens quick, too. Yes, that's why you need the timer, actually. And I'm surpassing the left, and now we're going to the... Huh. Let me get another thing down. I mean... With a game that's in early access, I'm not surprised that some of the AI no, is a little wonky. So you can see now this one is empty. Yeah. No also, more. your other two dazzers left also. So yeah. maybe you did just find the only two spots. Um, there might, there might just be oil further down. Are um, they not gonna be able to find it if it's too deep? No, exactly. Mm. You gotta upgrade, and there are different upgrades you can get for them. Once there's another building that'll unlock, I really just want to get all my oil. Does the screen? Sold. Does the screen ever go down, or is this basically all you ever if see? If you'll notice, um, the starting position of the buildings were actually a lot lower, so you oh, do get more ground. Oh, really? Yes. Does it get to the point where you have to scroll up and down? No. Because oh, okay. it'll just, because that's when the, the end of the month will hit when it's like up at the top of the window. 
Really? Mm -hmm. Oh. So, yep. Yep. Oh, yes! Yes! I mean, sell it all! Yeah. Sell it all, sell it all, sell it all, sell it all, sell everything that I pulled out, yes! Nice. Oh, that's so exciting. Mmm, delicious. Dang. So I got all the big ones, which is good. This is a so, pretty heavy profit margin. So that was my spillage Man. find. That's actually really not bad. I don't know how <laughs> I got I got really lucky. I mean, it's it's probably based on how much oil that spot is pulling up to. Maybe, I don't know. Ah. Uh, let's look at the graphs. These are fun. Nice. Because <sighs> I got it all. Only a little bit. Like right there. Meep. So my money. I don't understand that. What, the money? Oh, how much I have. Okay, I get it. Oh, it's it's based on like how much money you had during the expedition itself. So if you remember from the last episode where we had the graph and it showed spendings and our spending was like way up here, mm -hmm. my earnings are way up here and my spendings like totally even out. Um, Efficiency. Profit. Definitely made a profit. Left price and the right price. Yeah. So you can see where they crossed and where at what points they were higher and lower and. That's kind of cool. Let's see what my earnings were. When we get deeper into the game, are there ever any kind of like special events like tornado? All shops are closed for a month. No, I've never seen a tornado. That's actually kind of cool. I mean, it, I'm not necessarily tornado, but it would be interesting if there were semi-random events. There are deals you can make later on. Um, once you once we unlock one of the buildings, you can make deals with the left and writing. It's mm. like, hey, if I give if you give me six thousand dollars, I'll make sure that we don't sell under ninety cents a gallon. Whoa. Yes. That's kind of cool. Um, and I'll tell you about my working theory when we get to that point. So this is now, like, this is where it's interesting to me now because now we can actually compare like what we sold between the two and whether or not our strategies were right. Yeah. And if we paid good enough attention. So we did not sell very much uh, on this side. We, tw we sold twice as much over here and we made twice as much money. Um, average per barrel was 98 cents. That's really, really good. Yeah, and th their average is... At least what we sold to both were actually very close. Very, very close. But we still made the right call because obviously we averaged more on the right mm -hmm. where we sold more. So. And even in the the um, that graph where it shows the flow, um, right ink was the one that had the highest peak. I'm gonna get rid of everything. Else. That I think it's red. I think it's I red. I just want to look at the these red two. squiggly. Yeah, the red squiggly had the highest peak. You're right. <laughs> Champion. Uh, spendings. I just spent a ton on wagons. 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 What are you gonna do? Wagons, wagons. for days. Um, I like this too because then you can really see how much you're actually spending and what you're spending much money on and like where if you feel like you're spending too much money where you can probably cut back. Yeah, although I I almost worry that that chart could be misleading because you obviously needed wagons because yes. either A, you were going to have more spillage, or B, um, just not sell as much. And I guess it's just a way for you to see where your money goes. Yeah, yeah, I guess my only fear with that is, you know, what if players look at that and go, oh, I need to buy less wagons. But I guess they also are there in the moment, so they'll see that they needed the wagons. Right. So, eh. So that's what I missed, and obviously the da that's why the Dowsers didn't get them, because they were really low down, and they're tiny. So I wish I could have gotten it all, but I didn't. Um, and the problem is when you have the Dowsers and they don't find it, like I said, that doesn't necessarily mean there's no oil, and so the only other way at this early stage of the game is to go, like, you can pull your pipes down and, like, try... Like, once I emptied this out, I could have very easily, like, tried to... <laughs> go hunting, but then how much money am I spending on pipes doing that? More money than I would have spent on dowsers, and really not that much higher profit, so I just opted not to. Yeah, we kicked right. everyone's ass. Boom. Oh, but, also the uh, guy that sucked last expedition actually did second best. Yes, he did. It's kind of nice that they alternate, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so I think that's it for this episode, but yep. what's what's a good question of the day? Um, we we kept trying to talk about the art, and I just kept getting distracted because there's because mechanics, I, man. I, I was thinking of asking about the art too, actually. Um, so obviously, I'm, I'm a huge fan of it, and I think that they have to have very good sense of um, color theory in order to make this game work because they don't have any outlines. Um, but obviously, they've got a lot of shape stuff going on too. So I guess um, I think question of the day is. What do you think about the art? Where do you think that their strengths are, and where do you think maybe some of their weaknesses are? It's a pretty broad question, but... Meh. What do you think about the art? Yeah. Alright. 
Cool. Well, thank you for watching, everybody, and we'll see you in the next episode. See ya. Bye. 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 Bye.